I'd like to welcome you guys to this week's report. Uh, got a lot of good fishing happening right now, and the best news of all is that we've got good weather in the forecast this weekend. Uh, last weekend, as predicted, it was uh, blowing pretty good in a lot of areas, and uh, so there wasn't too much to report. I saw some trips out of San Diego that went out. It just looked horrible. Condition-wise, but they still got fish. Um, <clears throat> we have the uh, full moon happening here tonight, uh, the 11th, which is Thursday. It's called the pink moon for some reason. And uh, as you can expect, and if you've been following these reports, you know that the full, mean, that the full moon means that fish are going to be biting. So uh, let's, uh, let's go to this week's map. Starting up the Channel Islands, uh, we had some pretty slow fishing earlier in the week. They were getting some barracuda, occasional yellowtail, but uh, boats were even targeting rockfish and things like that. Um, as we came into the full moon here I, yesterday, Tuesday I think, or Wednesday, uh, the Mirage had 46 sea bass, which is pretty much in line with what we were expecting with the next uh, full moon here. So like I said, the last full moon, you know, if you want to go sea bass fishing in the Channel Islands during the summer, I scheduled a trip around the full moon. Uh, not a lot else happening up that way. I'm sure the sea bass will stick around for a while. The weather looks a little bit better up there this weekend, so it should get some coverage. Uh, the boats from up there kind of ventured around a bit. I think the Aloha Spirit ran down to the Dirt Clod. Um, Tuesday or Wednesday, saw some mills, didn't catch any. Um, some of the boats are going offshore up there and catching bluefin, but I think they're kind of heading down to this area. Well, this area being closer to uh, closer to LA County than Ventura County. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically it for up there. There's some rockfish, a few barracuda, sea bass might bite a couple more days on this moon. Uh, yeah, just standard summertime fishing up there. But uh, heading down to the, <clears throat> let's call it uh, the middle area, which is the Sand Nick, the Dirt Clod, the banks between Cat and Clemente. Um, there's a lot of bluefin in this area still, and I mean the uh, the spotter planes have just seen a tremendous amount everywhere. Uh, yesterday, the uh, Pilakia's uh, spotter plane had some pretty incredible photos of uh, big foamers everywhere, and um, the fish dope spotter plane was up as well. So if you're a member, you can go on there and see what, what they saw on uh, Wednesday. Uh, no one's really fishing Clemente at all because everybody's offshore fishing kelp patties. Uh, all the overnight boats are loading up. I know the Thunderbird every day this week has had close limits to Dorado, lots of nice big yellows. Um, that whole zone up above though that I'm talking about, that's mostly night bite stuff for the bigger bluefin. I know a few of the long range boats are up there. I know the boats that are Redondo are doing day and a half trips fishing that zone. Uh, my buddy Bobby Martinez went out for the 87th time in a row and caught limits of bluefin in that general area. Um, yeah, so if you're on a sport boat or you got a yacht and you want to go drift around at night and uh, drop jigs, that'd be your, your zone up there. They us call that the, the northern zone of the tuna. Um, the southern zone, I would call anything from the middle of Clemente, Mackerel Bank, down to the Mexican border, which is a pretty big uh, swath of water to cover there, but there's a lot of um, kelp patties with yellows, Dorado. There's yellowfin, there's... Big spots of bluefin up. Uh, like with the sea bass, the bluefin really went nuts uh, over the full moon here yesterday, and they probably are today. I haven't heard anything yet, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they were uh, seeing a ton of fish up there. Uh, my buddy Jonathan went out again. Yeah, he's about as bad as Bobby, and he got limits fishing solo somewhere around Cat. Um, there's fish from Clemente all the way into the beach. I heard a fish like two or three miles out of Newport uh, earlier, this, uh, earlier this week. So, uh, kind of an unconventional offshore report, uh, an island report, because there's not a lot to talk about at the islands themselves, because most people are out looking around. Even the half-day boats uh, are catching tuna. Uh, my buddy Hot Sauce that runs the city of Long Beach got a nice one on a half-day trip, uh, Bluefin. And so, pretty much all the boats along the coast are three-quarter days are running offshore trips right now, and they're doing pretty well. Mix of Dorado and, and uh, Yellows and Bluefin. The... Uh, Speaking of bluefin, I fished uh, Palos Verdes on um, Saturday to stay out of the wind, and um, I'll talk a little bit about how I was fishing uh, at the end of this report. I'm going to give you a few tips on the calico bass techniques, but uh, the interesting thing was we, uh, we had, you know, I think it was the 62 degree water at uh, Point Furman, and we got around the corner at Rocky, it was like 68, 
And as we're coming back down the line, we've caught a good bass fishing up that way. Um, but as we're coming back, I saw a bunch of birds working outside like Trump National on the edge of the kelp bed and maybe 40 feet of water. When I slowed down, I saw a 50 or 60 pound bluefin come up and eat a bait right outside the kelp line. So a little too rough to go look around on Saturday. We're pretty much at the end of our weather window, so we didn't give it much look. But there's fish everywhere right now, and um, it's just a matter of going and finding them. Um, in other days along the beach is, you know, it's the same thing. It's the Dorado and kelp paddy yellows. I mean, the, uh, I think one of the twilight boats out of Dana Point got a uh, Dorado on their twilight trip. I know the half day boats in San Diego are getting them. Uh, pretty much anywhere you find kelp along the beach, you're going to find Dorado or uh, yellows on it right now. So if you're heading out this weekend, um, I plan to look in areas where there are not other boats. And if you see other boats, on patties instead of crashing their patties, just look to the north or south of that patty, and if there's more, they're gonna be on that line usually. Um, the San Diego boats are also fishing offshore. They had a little tougher fishing this week. It seems like most of the biting fish are up in, way up in U.S. waters, Orange County, L.A. County. I know they, uh, they're, they're seeing a lot of fish, but they're not really catching much. So there's, uh, yeah, again, yellowfin, yellowtail, dorado, bluefin, all in that same zone. Uh, it was slow on Wednesday for those boats, but um, that should pick up again as we get off the full moon, I think. Um, when the bluefin drops back off, that other stuff's going to bite a little bit better, I hope. Um, so, yeah, lots of good fishing options this weekend. We've got good weather everywhere. And um, not to hurry through the report here, but I'm in my studio here. It's about 900 degrees, so if you see me sweating, that's, uh, that's what's going on. But... Uh, I want to take a minute to talk about some bass tackle that I used over the weekend. All right, we're in our standard summertime calico bass boat right now, which means that uh, this weekend probably won't be too good because of the full moon. They don't really seem to like that a lot. But uh, when I went out on Saturday at Palos Verdes, we had basically, you know, three lures that were working. My old standby fear is a seven inch weedless swim bait. And um, as usual, I'm fishing down on 60 pound fluorocarbon, the 65 pound braid, a 300 size pen fathom level wind and a seven foot uh, rain shadow graphic composite rod. Um, this time of year when I'm pulling up on a kelp bed, I'm always going to pull up on the leading edge of that kelp bed, which means the up current edge. So if the kelp's wherever it is, you want to go to where the current is first hitting the kelp bed and make some casts across that edge. And if there's any fish in there, they're going to bite pretty quick. And the problem at places like Palos Verde is there's a lot of kelp that doesn't bite. So finding that, uh, Wasting too much time on dead kelp is going to just ruin your whole day. So if you don't get bit on the first five or six casts, you can um, just move to the next leading edge. Um, another bait, if you're getting followers on that 7-inch weedless and they're not binding it, you can fish a 7-inch split tail slug. MC makes this one on a, on a sled head, owner sled head. I think it's a half ounce or three eighths ounce. I use a 20-pound leader and 30-pound fluorocarbon lentil. 200 size uh, Revo bait caster and a light graphite rod. You're fishing that just like the weedless, casting it out, not letting it sink, it just kind of a medium retrieve, maybe stop and go a little bit as you go through the kelp. And um, so if you're seeing a fish to pull the weedless but they won't bite it, I'll switch to that and get a pretty high uh, hookup ratio on it. Um, the hot lure over the weekend was the, uh, as was often the case, the uh, Lucky Craft DD100. It's a 100 pointer deep diver. Bait color doesn't seem to matter too much. I use any kind of white or bait fish color. Um, I like to fish this on a 15 pound, 100% fluorocarbon line as opposed to braid and a 200 size fathom reel. Um, I use a seven foot light graphite composite rod, but I also have nine foot rods. Um, you fish this bait by bonding a cast out and then winding really fast to get the depth and then pausing and then taking five or six quick rod turns and then pausing again and just doing that until you get back to the boat. Sometimes they want a longer pause, sometimes you can almost burn it completely back. Sometimes they want you to twitch it when you stop, so you twitch, twitch, burn it, pause, twitch, twitch. That kind of thing works as well. Um, but yeah, if you use these three basic things, um, there's not a lot of situations during the summer where you won't catch calico bass on them. And, uh, if you're fishing a DD100, you're going to want to be in an area where it's sparse kelp or the kelp's really laid down with the current. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, spending your whole day doing yard work as opposed to uh, catching bass. But uh, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys all have a great weekend and good luck if you're fishing.